Welcome to 3 at 5, three of the top trending news stories at 5 p.m. every day. I'm Andrea Dan. Zimbabwe has lifted a countrywide ban on lion, leopard and elephant hunting. The ban was only imposed on August the 2nd after global outrage over the killing of legendary lion Sizzle by a U.S. dentist on an illegal hunt last month. Sizzle was a 13-year-old lion and a famous attraction for wildlife tourists in Huangay National Park in western Zimbabwe. The hunting ban, however, was controversial, not only because the hunting trade is a significant contributor to Zimbabwe's economy, but that trophy hunting actually provides an economic incentive for ranchers to continue to breed those species and to reach the goal of wildlife conservation. In mainland China, the price of pork continues to rise, highlighting its popularity amongst Chinese consumers. The National Bureau of Statistics said last month the average price for pork saw a 60.7% year-on-year increase, hitting its highest price in three years. In 2014, pork supply totaled more than 50 million tons, comprising nearly 65% of mainland China's total meat supply. Why does China raise so many pigs? It's not that pork tastes the best, it's more a question of land, as raising pigs use less space than cows or sheep. Pork and vegetables are now the major factors that have taken the nation's consumer inflation to a nine-month high. And finally, the Hong Kong government will replace the entire mid-levels escalator, which now carries 85,000 people every day. The project will be conducted in phases from 2017 to 2023. The decision came after the security of escalators became a point of concern recently after some tragic accidents in mainland China. The mid-levels escalator started service in 1993. Over 40% of Hong Kong's escalators are at least 20 years old, which has per se will now need to be either replaced or overhauled. That's it for today. For more of these news stories and much more, visit ChinaDailyAsia.com.